As a DoorDash driver, what can you expect when you start doing this kind of work? What are the kind of things that you need to keep doing to stay excited about it, stay hungry, stay busy, keep making money, keep on moving forward? And a lot of drivers ask those kind of questions when they get started. Is this even a real thing? Really, it's a business and you have to treat it like a business or you're going to just fall off. You won't have any drive. You won't have any hustle. And hustle does help you maintain this energy and excitement about your own little business and what you're doing in DoorDash. Your business is only as good as your hustle, as good as your adaptation. For the new drivers, you need to expect a learning curve when it comes to understanding how to use the app. It's a pretty simple app, but there are some confusing things, and it can be frustrating when you're out in a busy city getting orders, taking orders, trying to navigate traffic, trying to get to the restaurant, getting there, asking about your order, not really knowing what they do. So take your time with the app. I would say a couple weeks is more than enough time to learn it and feel confident with the DoorDash app, especially if you're only running that app by itself. Once you've gotten more efficient with the app, you can start to fluctuate what you like to do with your time of days and your restaurants you like to be in, the parts of the city you like to be in, the best hot spots that you like to locate yourself in, so you get the most orders and the pr most profitable orders. Uh, those kind of things come later, and once you get that down, you can really start to grow your income and your revenue uh, by understanding each restaurant, what type of orders come out of there, what parts of the city they send those orders to, how much profit you can make if there's enough restaurants around to continue making you busy. As time moves along as a DoorDash driver, you're going to experience some really rough patches along with some really good patches. And the average long-term game is what keeps drivers motivated. If you continue to look at those low-end patches where you're having struggles, you're not making as much money as you'd like, then you're not gonna last in the DoorDash environment. You will fail, you'll get frustrated, you'll move along, and you won't continue to get better. If you look at your averages over the course of time and make sure you're tracking your profits over maybe three month periods and you do a look back and you understand how much you've actually earned, if the average is where you wanna be, then you'll see more of a positive influence from those numbers on yourself and you'll be excited about continuing sometimes it's just about getting out sometimes it's just about getting out and delivering there are days where i don't feel like getting out i don't want to do it anymore but i know i got four mouths to feed at home and when i do get out there are days where all of a sudden i get gigantic orders i make 30 bucks an hour when i was only making 17 dollars an hour the day before you can worry about these things fluctuating, but if you understand the business and when the best times are to be out and when the worst times are to be out and that it is gonna ebb and flow on you, then you can be prepared for that as a driver and as a small business type operator to maybe save some money aside, to fluctuate what you do with your finances, to understand that when you're out, you just gotta be out. You gotta continue being that hustler. And a lot of the issues with the new drivers is that they see those 60 to 70% of awful orders and they think that they need to appease the app. But in reality, you are not required to take those orders and you can start to pick and choose which ones you actually want to take, where you wanna go, which restaurants you wanna be using and what your profit needs to look like so you can start to adjust what you want to do. Now that will, in a lot of markets, change as far as how much time you can get on the platform. If you can't dash now and you have to schedule, how you need to schedule and when you need to schedule and what times of days you're going to go, probably on lunch period or maybe dinner rush, those types of things. But you don't have to take those 60 to 70% of awful orders, which if you do continue taking those orders, I'm going to tell you right now, you won't last very long in this DoorDash game. You will be struggling. You'll be frustrated. Your car will fall apart. And you won't have the money to take care of it. So 
that's another part of the business aspect for new drivers to understand is your vehicle is your biggest asset in this industry. And if you're driving your vehicle into the ground and you don't have any money on the side to pay for fixes, then you're in real trouble and you will not last. When you start to understand more about the app, you start to understand more about your city, you start to understand more about restaurants, you start to get that grinder mentality, that hustler mentality that it takes to keep doing DoorDash and you get excited about it. You understand the averages over time and your profits are looking good. You can start to see how now you're growing your business, you're making money, and you're gonna have to do things like set money aside for auto repairs, for tires, for oil changes, for windshield wipers, for brake lights, all these things I've had to repair over the course of several years of using the same car for this type of work. So as new drivers, focus on the app, focus on your city, focus on efficiency, effectiveness, and that is up to your hustle, how good you're gonna be. <laughs> and then start looking at the deeper business aspects of this kind of work. You will have fun. You will also enjoy expanding into other markets like Grubhub, Uber Eats, Deliver, Deliver That, maybe Amazon Flex, maybe Walmart Spark, I don't know. But if you're starting with DoorDash, start there, have fun, make some money, take care.